Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about working with a linear and nonlinear history, if you're wondering what that was from the previous video. So, linear history um, follows a linear path within the history panel. And the last thing um, that you do on here is the last thing that you actually did on your on your uh, document um, with nonlinear you can um, actually do other things within the, like the middle of the uh, history panel if you wanted to so what we're gonna need to do is go into our history options real quick by clicking on this button up here go to history options and to just make sure the allow nonlinear history is unchecked for this part right here at least so do a couple things in your document to make your history panel about this long or something like that. So I've done a few things and now what I want you guys to do or I'll just do it is um, click somewhere in the middle. So if I go here to the middle here, you can see now that all these things have been grayed out and they've actually been, those steps have been deleted. And these are steps that I had before in the document and now we're back to here so what it basically did is it undoed one two three four five six seven it undoed seven times and this is what I had seven undo states ago so if you click all the way down at the bottom they're still there so that's um, what the linear history panel looks like so let's go and go back to our history options and then this time let's allow nonlinear history and hit OK. Let me undo that right there. I didn't mean to click on that. So with that uh, option selected let's go into the middle here and now you can see that all these states here haven't been deleted. Now I can uh, um, just go in and add whatever I want in this uh, section here. So I'll just draw on this layer back here and uh, that's um, added at the bottom as you can see. So I come down here at the bottom and now I've got this whole snapshot looking um, thing and now this is the latest thing that's going on in the bottom so if you wanna go back and kinda like it helps you like think outside the box and add new effects and things like that to your document. Now I can always get rid of this one by just going and clicking on it and pressing oops sorry clicking on the layer I clicked on delete layer by accident and um, clicking on the trash can and it'll delete the state there and I can click on the trash can again to delete that so that's what the uh, nonlinear history is like you can click up here and not everything goes away or is deleted or anything like that one thing I wanted to let you know about working in linear and nonlinear history is that linear history is more RAM efficient, so it's less hard on your on your memory. Um, working in nonlinear is more um, RAM intensive. I also wanted to let you know that once you delete something in um, your history in your history panel, you can't ever get it back so make sure when you delete that you really know that you want to delete something I'm gonna go up and turn off my um, nonlinear history because I don't really need it and I don't want the extra um, intensity used on my RAM so I uh, took that off um, now if your document is bogged down and you ha actually have like the chance go into your options menu here and um, you have a clear history button and just be warned that when you um, click on the clear history button there is no undo for it so I'll just do that now so you can see what it's like and what it does is it clears everything before your last um, before your last step so we've got that going on there and it's pretty pretty useful now the history um, panel works on every single layer so if I do a, if I do something with this layer 
and maybe move it here or something like that it's going to show up in the history panel for and it's good it, yeah it's definitely going to show up in the history panel and the history panel is going to contain history from all layers not just one single layer when you click on it so that's uh that's that was just something that i was trying to get to uh um through the through you guys i guess so um that's about it for this tutorial um thanks for watching this one you learned about nonlinear and linear history and how you can use them differently so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one.